Thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Tom Allsop, and today I'm gonna to give you some no-nonsense advice to help you to master your slice serve. What I really suggest doing is just trying to spin this tennis ball. So throw it up and see if you can hit the edge of the ball and feel like that ball is spinning, All right? Just spin that tennis ball. It's no different than if you were to kick a soccer ball. Just, you can spin that ball by cutting across it. You don't need to have wonderful technique to be able to make a round thing spin. So first of all, get on court and spin the tennis ball but see how much you can spin it. Have a bit of fun experimenting with coming around the side, the edge of the tennis ball. Get it moving as much as you can. Now, one thing I'm doing to get a lot of spin on those is to use a continental grip. A lot of people won't have a continental grip. A lot of people think they have a continental grip. Check out this video on the continental grip because again, a lot of people think they have it. They don't quite have it. But basically you want to move more towards the left on the racket with your hand and that's going to set the racket at this angle to be able to hit the edge of the ball. If you have an eastern grip, if you have a semi-western grip, which I've experienced a few people using lately, you're not going to be able to hit the edge of the ball. And if you have an eastern grip and you're trying to hit the edge of the ball, you have to use your wrist a little bit. So you're better off with some kind of chopper grip, hammer grip, like you're chopping something, and that's going to put you in a natural position to hit the edge of it. People don't let go, and that's why they struggle to do things. They don't prior prioritize. So a lot of people who get stuck hitting a serve and I'm there going, nope, that was flat, nope, that was flat. It's not because they're not good enough. It's because they don't want to really try something a little bit different and have it not work out. Try to hit so far on the edge of the ball that I expect it to go out the court. I expect it to fly to the left. Another thing you can do is try and hit the edge of the racket here. Try and hit the frame. That's not easy to do and quite often, and well, if you can do it, great. It means you're gonna be on edge and you can just miss the edge of the racket and then start hitting some spin on the ball. All right, but close that racket face so that you can get the edge of it. But don't worry about missing a few. Prioritize spin. If I give you a dollar for every rotation, that's, that's the goal. Don't worry about the serve being perfect. We'll get to that. So once you've played around with this, experimented, got that ball spinning as much as possible, we're gonna to look to refine the technique. And a lot of people want to know about the swing path. Should we pronate? Should we cradle the baby? What should we do? All right, let's explain. Once I strike the ball here, my strings are gonna be still quite close as I come through the shot. And it's natural to, especially if you're hitting a lot of spin, to come around the ball like this. And you might end up in this position where the strings are quite open. All right, come in around that ball. There's a lot of spin on that. Now, what I would prefer to do always is to take this wrist position and make it neutral. So it's not all cupped like this. So personally, when I'm hitting a slice serve, I'm coming through like this. And once I get through to this position, I'm just gonna rotate the arm. And if I can do that, my wrist isn't in a vulnerable position. And whenever I can rotate my arm with my wrist in a neutral position, not like this, I feel like I can do it faster. So I'm gonna carve around and just rotate my arm. So I'm still finishing like this, it's not much different, but I'd say there's a little bit of pronation here, not much, a little bit of pronation rather than scooping on the finish. I don't really like that scooping position. Now what people tend to do, because those two, those two motions are fine, what people tend to do when they're doing this incorrect is to chop. So if you're chopping like this, and the arm isn't really rotating, it's just coming down like this, then you're not gonna be able to move the racket head very fast. 
So it's very important that you rotate the arm around yourself. If you feel like you're in this position, that's fine. If you feel like you want to rotate the arm, that's fine. But we are rotating the arm and the racket around the body. We're not chopping. So when it comes to pronation, I know a lot of people are working on that. When I'm hitting a flat serve, I'm just pronating into the strike. When I'm slicing, I'm coming through on edge for a little bit longer and just pronating slightly after. Pretty much the same motion. However, when I'm coming around the edge of the ball, clearly the swing path is gonna be a little bit different because I'm not hitting the back of it, I'm coming around it. So the, the stroke is gonna be a little bit altered depending on how much spin you're putting on the ball. But for me, I still want the arm to pronate. You just gotta do it after, after that ball's already been cut. As you're starting out, as I say, throw the ball pretty wide, get a very strong continental grip and as much spin as you can. Once you've got familiar with that, comfortable with that, try and throw the ball a little bit closer to your right shoulder. Once you can do that, you're gonna get a little bit more power. Your disguise is gonna be a little bit better. And you can start to hit up on your slice a little bit and get a bit more arc over the net, which is great for a second serve. So it's very important that you have this strong angle between the forearm and the racket. You can see my arm is angled that way and my racket is to the inside. When I hit a strong slice serve, especially if I'm going for that real fancy one where I'm getting a lot of spin there, the racket's gonna be pointing straight up. My arm is gonna be angled to the side. When I start making this a little bit more realistic, if I want a little bit more power, if I want a little bit more arc over the net, I'm gonna bring it slightly more over my shoulder and the racket's gonna be slightly to the inside. Because the racket's angled like this, I'll get a little bit of topspin, just a little bit. Not enough to see it, the ball's still gonna move, but it's gonna help me to get a little bit more net clearance. So when I'm using it as a second serve, it's gonna be safer. Let's see. So it's still slicing, but because the contact point is here, I get up on the ball a little bit. So start here, bring it this way, and once you're in this position, you can work the ball a little bit more. You can get a bit more net clearance, you can get a little bit more power, because this is a stronger position than out here. And all I need to do to hit a topspin serve is throw it slightly further over my head and get this racket more at an angle and hit up on the tennis ball. So I'm basically slicing upwards, whereas here I'm slicing around the side of it. If you want some more information on how to hit a great kick serve, check the link in the description below. There's a 20 minute free video for you. Everything you need to know on the kick serve. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a comment, hit like, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.